friends um, this is my second video of this uh, kind of video series for about Photoshop actions as I mentioned in the previous uh, video I've been asked um, a few times about how I resize optimize and uh, watermarks to my images and since I had given the process verbally or written uh, I thought it would be a lot easier to show through a video the whole process so this is not hard creating actions it, it's uh, quite an easy process and uh, I just wanted to give you my experience how I do things it doesn't it doesn't mean that is the perfect way it's just the way it has worked for me uh, for many years it's um, I don't know I just hope it helps you automate a little bit your processes as it has done for me because um, once you have these actions you just have to click play or do a batch action and the Photoshop and system this does the whole pro the whole work for you so why not right since um, sorry um, in the previous e uh, video we talked about how to create the resizing actions for your images once you have finished all your editing you get your image either in original size uh, JPG or RAW file and you just have to click on your portrait and hit play so it gets to the size you need for your blog or your website so in this case let's take it from here it's an original image I can show you here so what I'm going to do is to create my uh, resized version of this image Then I'll quickly go here to my folder, go to my temporal folder that I mentioned on the previous video. I mean, if you haven't seen that video, I definitely invite you to watch it so you understand a little bit about this uh, folder system. But I'm coming here so you see that I have my original images in here and all the small images in here okay so if I show you this in here you can see the images are 700 by 1050 pixels so I'm gonna find the same image you just saw and open it on Photoshop I will enlarge it a little bit so you can see the process. So, once you're here with your small optimized image, the next step is creating the action for the watermark. So it's just in the same folder as the portrait and let's game actions is are. You just create a new action. Let's call it watermark. And you see that it's recording already. Okay, the next step is importing your watermark image. I like to work with pre made watermark images, it's kind of easier for me to adjust and put it where I want it. But of course, you can always do it differently, just type it in. Um, but for this video purposes, I'm going to show you how to deal with an image, okay? So your image should be a PNG or a PSD, I mean a Photoshop uh, file, without any background. So you just come to File, Place Embed, find your watermark, in this case mine is a PSD, it's a Photoshop file and hit enter so it actually places the the, the watermark in the on the image the next step is just 
let's select both layers, okay? The TCN watermarks and the background. You will see here on the actions that I selected the background. And I, I like to have my watermarks on the bottom right corner of my images. You can put it whatever you prefer. This is just how I like it. So I'm going, I'm going to use the align buttons on to, uh, here on the top and just align to the, to the right and then to the bottom. You will see that both alignments are here in the actions steps. Then click on your watermark layer. So you select only that layer and holding your shift key, just, just click on your left arrow key once and then hold key, shift key again and, and click or hit the top arrow key just to give like a little bit of space between the watermark and the edges of your image. And to me, that's how I like it. And I also like to give some opacity. I usually use 80% or so, but you, depending on your watermark, you can do it like uh, gray, black, white, in, in my case, I do it like this because to me, the watermark is a protection more than screaming out to people that this is my image and this is my brand. I just like to protect, let people know that this image has, has a, an author, but I still like the image to be the main point, the main focus. So, I like my watermark to be a little bit fade in the image and this type of watermark part in some way works to any background. It doesn't matter if it's a black or just any dark or light, it's always kind of visible. Of course, it's gonna, it's gonna be more visible on dark uh, backgrounds, but to me it's fine. I just want to make my process easier so I don't have to customize each image or each watermark. So to me this is fine, so I will just go ahead and select both layers again and go ahead and flatten. Just right click on your mouse and find the flatten image. So you have one single image, no layers, and Click on Command S or Go File Save. So basically, you are overwriting the original. I mean, not, not the original, but the 700 by 1050 pixels image. I don't care. I I don't want to have one small image with and another one without the watermark. So I just overwrite it. I don't care. And finally, just close the image. Okay, here. That's it. All right. Okay, your image here now has the the watermark. Okay. Let's get back to our for a second an image. Just to click stop, so the action stops recording. Okay. Always remember to delete any extra um, action, um, records. Your, the last one should be closed. At this point you already finished your watermark action, okay? It's done, it's ready. So now we finally get to the point where I'm going to show you how to batch the watermark action. So you just have to make a few clicks and the system will place the watermark on each image inside that specific folder. All right, so let's get to it. So at this point, you just have to close the image and let's say you already edit a bunch of image. You just uh, resize the, 
your small image are placed in the right folder so you are ready to add the watermark so the only thing you have to do is come to the Photoshop go to file automate batch click and then you have your dialog box for the settings usually these settings you have to do it only once it will remember for future um, batch actions okay depending on how many actions or how many batches you plan to have uh, you might have to readjust but as far as the watermark goes this is it so just have to pay attention to the play side because usually this will get the last action set or action you you used usually if you just resized you probably will see something like this okay with the portrait or the landscape you just have to pay attention and switch switch to watermark otherwise it's gonna resize in batch everything that is in that folder the next step is setting your source folder I always have my temporal folder and the small subfolder so you just in your case just find the folder you want to work on or the folder you set for your optimized image so in this case it's this one just choose it and here it goes if you want the watermarked images go to a different folders then choose it and set the your preferred folder in my case since i'm not interested in having some small images with and without uh, watermark i'll just set for override the same folder so i just choose the small subfolder that you see there are images in there and click choose so it's the same folder as source and destination as for the uh, file naming I just usually I leave it as a default and if you don't have a default this is what I usually have document document name document name extension extension I don't I, I haven't changed anything else so at this time you are just one step or one click away from the from the automate automation once I click on OK you will see uh, flashes of whites and black screens that's because the Photoshop is working okay ready set go there you go all the emails are now watermark or I hope you just go here you have your subfolder and now you can see right here the watermark on all images are set just a few seconds just a few clicks and it's all done you don't have to come back and edit this action every time you're gonna watermark it just keep in mind a few things if you change the source of your watermark I mean where you play when you embed it if you change that location of your of your watermark probably it's not gonna find it so the action is it's going to fail so always remember that if you have for, for any reason to change the location of your uh, watermark file always come to the action and change it also you can edit every every step of the way of your action you can edit and change it you can change the format you can change the size you can change the location everything can be changed so there's not problem so always remember that and after that if you're happy with your watermark placements and everything else you just don't have to come back and edit anymore every time you edit just come to, to Photoshop go to file automate batch set your 
your watermark action just in case make sure it's, it's selected and click OK that's it forever and ever as long as you don't change anything so that's it actually if you ever change your watermark image as it is if you just go to the original file of your watermark and change it in there without changing the size or the format or the name or anything just change the the image inside the file you don't you don't even have to do anything else because it's gonna still embed that file so nothing will change that's the beauty of this this app so for now that's it that's it you have your batch not hard but please feel free to leave comments if you think I missed any any step or if you want something different to be done and I can explain or make another video for you just let me know your thoughts I'm here to help and I truly deeply hope this video will help you automate and make easier your edition process so Hope I see you soon and happy vlogging!